we have the Scaly Space Mutant Enforcer Masterverse slush head on the examination table. So let's take a deep dive on this ridiculously cool figure. And before we dive into the review, smash that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a beat. Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Habits, and we are taking a detailed look at the New Adventures of He-Man Masterverse Deluxe slush head and comparing him to his Masters of the Universe Classics figure, so let's start off like we usually do and take a look at the packaging. Slushhead comes in the double wide Masterverse window display box and pour out some liquor for the Masterverse logo and the actually the box altogether because the new Masterverse boxes are coming in hot and they look amazing, but we're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about my man Slushhead from he-Man The New Adventures. And this is a fantastic figure. It is packed to the gills with accessories. I love the New Adventures of He-Man logo. I wish they would make more of these. And turning it around to the side of the box, you see this amazing illustration of Slushhead wielding his battle axe in a cosmic scene. And also, if you want a reference to the vintage packaging, this amazing illustration on the side art, mirrors the packaging that came with the vintage figure of Slushhead, which is a really cool addition. I'm glad the team and Roy decided to do this. Speaking of which, beautiful display. In the background here, we have a moon that looks like Majora's Mask. So Slushhead, your time is running out and you have three days to get to the bank or your rupees are going to be gone. But I digress. We have a beautiful illustration of Slushhead in all of his glory, and we do see the cross cell of the wave that is also available. Turning to the right side of the box, we have the Slushhead name and the moniker Scaly Space Mutant Enforcer. So let's get him out of the box and take a look at this insane, crazy figure. All right, let's get down and dirty with slush head. So typically we start from the top and work our way down and what a crazy expression slush head has on his mug. And not to be crude or rude, but man, this guy looks like he has some constipation that he needs to let go of. Maybe that's why he's got this really cool suit on. But all jokes aside, love all the detail, love all the spots on his head, just the way the cheek lines are formed when he grit its teeth. His ears are pointy and he's got some more bumps on his head and his head sculpt is enclosed in a plastic fishbowl and you can't take it out. And if you do, you'll probably break it, but it really sits securely in his chest armor or whatever his breathing apparatus is, which came out really nicely, by the way. It's got a nice teal blue. The silver accents are all in the right places. There's like some circuitry here, maybe some breathing things over here. And love the blue that plays off the silver here. And if you bring him around to the back, you can see his back area is nicely detailed. It's got some holes for some extra accessories. And you can actually take the armor off if you want naked slush head and take it off. But I'm really tempted to see what happens here. So I'm actually gonna do this and I'm back. I actually had to undo this off camera because it was really, really hard to get these apart. But look at that. And you can have slush head sans armor, which is really neat. I really don't know how you might display this figure like this, but to each his own, I'm not gonna judge anybody, but man, this guy has a face only a mother could love, seriously. But amazing piece of armor. You can actually take a look at it in more detail here. Here's the fish bowl you know, on the inside of the armor. It's got those spaces where it does her accessories plug into the back here. And here's the silver strapping that goes around him and hooks in in the back like so. Right, and while I have his armor off, let's just do a quick switcheroo of the heads. I love that pop sound. It sounds really, really nice. I wish it sounded like that when you put it on because it's just a cool sound. All right, here is with his less constipated look and he looks great. And if you want to put him in his fishbowl, all you do is just put the armor back on and it cinches around his waist here and you have a different look for slush head. The only drawback to this is if you want to articulate his head, you have to do it with the armor off. So it's going to take some trial and error to figure out how you want his head to be 
positioned before you put the armor on. All right, now he is put back together like Humpty Dumpty. So let's check out his massive arms. And he's got this really cool silver tentacle wrist cuff that hooks into his bicep on both sides. It's really cinched in there nicely. So you're not gonna have that issue like Man in Arms has where his shoulder armor or forearm armor comes off and it's hooked all the way around the bicep. So it's really, really sturdy. He also has his waist piece that kind of looks like a bathing suit, honestly, but it's nice teal. It's got some red accents to break up that whole teal that's going on with his body armor. And we swing him around to the back. He's got some really good detail on his waist piece here. We have lines going across, we have lines going up, and we got lines down here too. There are lines everywhere. And looking at his legs, we have some texturing here, which is nice because it really matches the whole body here. So we also have some really nice shin bracers that match his blue body armor, which is really cool. It's got some silver detail to tie in all of the silvers together. And if you bring them around to the back, they are nicely sculpted pieces and he is completely barefoot. He's got three toes on each foot, which reminds me of some versions of Skeletor. Well, this is Slushhead is the buck that comes out of the package and so let's see how he looks with all of his accessories because this figure is ridiculous all right the slush head comes with a crazy amount of accessories i'm gonna leave the hands here they are open we have some shaky fisty hands well, let's first take a look at his alternate head sculpt and it's got a much better face than the one that he comes packed with it's kind of like a kooky cross-eyed version probably like the cartoon but it doesn't look like he is constipated so it's a really nice head sculpt it's got the texturing to match the other head which is great and next let's pick up his blaster axe and this is actually a really cool piece so it doubles as a blaster if you hold the handle here and you can actually hold it on the handle below and you can do some damage and he can chop some people up he's also got a backpack that has these plugs in here so you can put the little tentacle thingies in it and it's got like a little air respirator and it's got two plugs so you can actually fix affix it to the back and there's plugs on the side so you can put the tentacles in and just make a crazy version of slush head you can have him any way you want but the backpack is really nice and detailed. It's got some sculpting here in the middle and on the sides, and it kind of looks like everything's just kind of bolted together, which is a cool effect. All right, let's take a look at these tentacles. Next, we have a grabby tentacle, which is cool. And we have a kind of a hook type of thing, which is neat. I don't know, is this like the new adventures of He-Man style trap jaw or something? He's got a anchor looking accessory that he looks like he just ripped off some ship that was passing by and just stuck a tentacle on it, but it's really cool. I actually dig this one. And last up we have his trident. And the trident one is cool. It's got some rivets detail here and it's got the same kind of detail that his tentacles have all around. Now, these are not posable. If you try to pose them, you will break them. So I would think what they did was they made the part's really easy to articulate in here. So if you want to put these in, they just snap in and you can kind of put them any way you want. So can't wait to see what this backpack looks like. But before we do that, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's take a look at this really cool swamp generator. At least that's what they called it on the video that Mattel put out, but it's really neat. It's got some purple juice in here. Uh, it's got the teal to match his armor. It's got all of these ports to plug all of the cool doodads in. So it kind of looks like an underwater spider if you want to make him that. But the versatility on this stuff is really neat. You can take this off. There's a ball joint here where you can put his head on it. And there's just so many things that you can do with the slush head figure. It is so freaking cool. All right, let's check it out. All right, and here is slush head geared up with his blaster axe, which is acting like a blaster right now. And his swamp generator is plugged into his backpack. So if you just want a more subdued look for the figure, then I think this is the way to go. I love the color combination of the purple and the blue. I thought that was an amazing choice there. And these things are really easy to plug in and you can just kind of make him however you want. You just plug them in there and they can move up and down so you can kind of pose them this way. Just don't try and pose the actual plastic because it will break. And so you can kind of put 
this anchor here, plug it in, and you can get his hook and plug it in in the back here too, just to make some little crazy, insane looks that he's just got some tentacles flying everywhere and he just looks mad. But what I'm really excited about is the alternate way that you can use this generator. So let's take a look at that. All right, and I purposely left the purple part on so you could just see the easy exchange of this part with the extra head sculpt, which is very cool. So man, you can just make this thing so freaking creepy. It is insane. And I don't know if you're gonna just have him posed like this. And it's kind of really weird because it's slush head, but he's got an extra head. So it's got, he has like a little mini me um, that, you know, could walk us beside him too. So it's really actually two figures in one. So you're getting a good deal. You don't have to spend extra money and get two of these to get this kind of look. But it's definitely creepy hanging out just with a head on these pieces of tentacles right here. So I got to hand it to the team. The versatility of this figure is outstanding. All right, and the last thing we'll do with his accessories is take a look at the backpack and see how his tentacles unplug really nicely from here. And all you could do is just do a nice switcheroo and you can put these tentacles anywhere you want. So it's really easy to put them on and off and this is actually the first time that I'm assembling his backpack piece. So achievement unlocked for me, which is great. And I really want to see how these tentacles are arranged and what kind of kooky combinations you can come up with because this is like Burger King. You can have it your way, baby. And so, all right, not really looking to see where I put all these on. It snaps into the back here into his armor, which is cool. And so, yeah, you can, if you don't like the way that you put them the first time, you can change them up. So that's the great thing about this figure. You can put these in all different directions and things like that. There's a lot of ways that you can put these accessories on and just get the look that you want. All right, it's comparison time and I have his Masters of the Universe Classics figure here on the left and this is the Masterverse version, but these figures look really, really similar. And honestly, it's hard to tell them apart, but the classics figures are a little bit smaller, so there is the height difference there. There is the updated armor and all that stuff, but all of the paint seems to be in all the right places. And I'm going to start with these guys tentacled up because one issue with the Masters of the Universe classics is that these tentacles fall off really easily. So I'm just going to take the Masterverse one around just so we can see the comparison from the back first because I do want to dress this guy down because the Classics tentacles are very hard to deal with in a review. And as you can see, very similar design to the backpacks. And one interesting thing about the Classics version is that the backpack is integrated into the armor here where the Masterverse version is a separate piece. But I do love all of the tentacles that are coming out of the Masterverse version. And there goes another one because it just makes them look so insane. All right, let's get the backpack off of the Masterverse version and it just comes off really nicely and all of the tentacles stay in place. They hooked in really nicely and it's really cool because you're not gonna have the issue of them falling off if you actually play with these or pose them. One thing that I do want to note about the tentacles that came with the Classics version is they are articulated. So it's kind of cool. You can have a clamp that clamps open and shut, which is nice. I thought that was a nice detail and just looking at the figure bucks themselves, very similar figure bucks. Let's zoom in here. We have the constipated look on both figures, which is nice. Uh, one little gimmicky thing in the classics version was you can actually fill this with water and I lost the plug to his head, but you can actually turn him into a true slush head by putting water in there. So I thought that was a really cool feature, but Aside from that, the back armor is different just because the backpack is integrated into the Classics version and also the scale detail on the Classics version is much more pronounced. It looks more like a lizard than like an ocean creature. And taking a look at their waist pieces, they do have very similar waist piece design and also the shin armor is very similar, although the Classics version has a matte finish to the shin armor and the Masterverse version has a more of a metallic sheen to it. Taking a look at their blaster axe pieces, 
they look very similar. So, I mean, it's really hard to tell one from the other, but the Classics version does have these little blue paint dabs on there because it was a premium line. One issue with the Masterverse figure though, is the blaster axe on this particular version, the handle is is not that great if you wanna have him use this like an ax. And I think this is an issue that all of the Masterverse figures had, but it's sometimes it's really hard to just get him to hold this particular piece just because it is so thin. One aspect that they redesigned, which was really nice, is they made the barrel of his blaster gun more like a handle, so you can actually put it in the hand here and he can hold it really nicely if I can get it between his fingers there. There we go. And see, there we go. It's not going to fall off and it looks really cool. And I think that's it for this comparison. And that's a wrap on the review of the New Adventures of He-Man Masterverse Deluxe slush head. And don't forget to visit our website at www.toyhabits.com where you can also see a still image review and let us know what you think about this figure in the comments below. Are you buying this figure or is it a hard pass? Is it too freaking ridiculous? Would love to know. As always, thanks for tuning into Toy Habits and don't forget to smash that like button on your way out and if you have not subscribed to the channel, we would really appreciate it. See you next time.